we sure do need him now. Hallelujah. Well, we give honor to the Spirit of the Lord, amen, amen. who is already in this place, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd love to go places where they still have church. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. When somebody can pull one of them old songs out the back, come on here, and it's still anointed, and you can feel the power and the glory and the authority of y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. Everybody can sing them songs. Hallelujah. And you feel the power and the glory and the authority of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I keep having birthdays. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm learning more and more the value of the foundations that we got. Come on here. Hallelujah. We get so busy trying to do the new. Come on here. That we throw out the stuff that's still needed in this season and in this hour. Amen. Grandma used to say, don't throw out the baby with the bath water. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't be so busy getting rid of the old that you, hallelujah, getting rid of those things that are valid and needed in this season and in this hour. Hallelujah. I don't know about anybody else, but I ain't following the crowd, bitch. I ain't following the crowd, no more. I'm following the cloud. I'm following the cloud. And wherever the glory of the Lord is, <laughs> that's where I must be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we honor the man of God. Hallelujah. None other than Bishop Henderson. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Amen. And they tell me no great man of God is successful without a powerful woman of God behind him. Amen. And that is none other than Evangelist Henderson. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We speak blessings over this house. Amen. So good to see everybody yet again. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody encouraged in the Lord tonight? Y'all oh, don't hear me? Anybody encouraged in the Lord tonight? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody tell them, this ain't going to be hard at all. This ain't going to be hard. This ain't going to be hard at all. Y'all don't hear me? Oh, Spirits for what you want to say tonight. 
because it's good news day. God, yeah, I'm gonna get me. It's good news. Anybody crazy to lift up the knee be right there and bless you for the good news?
He's not omnipotent. He's not all powerful. As a matter of fact, he is powerless and weak concerning us who are in the body of Christ. And he's not omniscient. He does not know all. So our, your enemy in this hour is no longer the devil. If the devil is still holding you down, it's because you are allowing him to hold you down. I know I'm messing with some today, but I want, it's time for us to get free for real. Now, if we're still fighting the devil, then that makes us know the fact, the fact that Jesus died. Did hey, y'all hear me? He rose with all power. He took the keys of authority yes. over death, yes. hell, and the grave. Y'all don't hear me? Yes. So what we still fighting over, what is ours? We fighting for what is ours. You don't know, hear me? We are king's kids. You know what the Bible says? I'm a child of the king. We love to tell people I'm a child of the king. Well, there's certain privileges that come with us being children of the king. Y'all don't hear me? Y'all don't hear me? The children of the king know who they are. They're taught from youth who they are. Their stance is different. Their expectation is different. You don't know, hear me? They don't care if you 500 years old. They know that they are in more authority than you will ever be because they are heirs of the king. But we've got to come out of this slave mentality that holds us captive. Y'all don't hear me? To, to, to the, the lifeless lifestyle. To what we hoping and believing, we praying, we warring, we got to beat the devil, we got to stuff on his head. I ain't stopping nowhere, I'm not talking to him no more, because his voice is no longer the authority yeah. in my life. Yeah. And you know what I know, this is, since I've taken on this mindset, he don't try to talk to me either. Why? Because he knows that I'm not trying to hear anything that he has. To say, why waste my time on an entity that's weak and powerless? Why waste my breath on an entity that's weak and powerless? Because sometimes it's easier for us to have somebody to blame, Evangelist. That old devil. He done did this. That old devil. He done did that. Come on, man. It's time for us as the body of Christ to stand up and be accountable for our actions. It's time for us to get past it's they fault, it's them fault. You don't hear me. And now we're blaming the devil for everything. Come on now. It's the devil's fault on the lady. No, it's your fault, you lady. Because you did not get up and move like you knew you was. Y'all don't hear me. It's the devil's fault that I don't tie. Because he be messing with my heart. No, 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 no. He is weak and powerless. That old devil, he can be in the again. Are you hearing where I'm coming from? Messing with my children. Well, your children ain't living right. As a matter of fact, they evils. And they choose not to serve God. Why would they be bothered? Why would they be bothered? I tell people, God told me to stop giving them heathens my money. That's what God said. God told me to stop giving the heathens his money. And he was talking about outside of my household. He was talking about right now in my household. My children. Y'all don't hear me. Giving the heathens his money. For them to go and do whatever they want to do with me. And when they get nervous and scared, what they do? Call you again to rescue them again. Now you don't, you don't get the privileges of the kingdom. If you don't live outside of the kingdom. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming from? You, you, uh, you don't get the privileges of the kingdom. You don't hear me. No more call me to you in trouble. I'm going to pray for me. I'm going to pray the Lord deals with you and gets you to a point to where your knees will bow 
and your tongue will confess. I'm not bringing you out of one more mess. My prayer has shifted. Y'all don't hear me. Lord, if they have to go to jail, do what you got to do to get them in the kingdom. Y'all don't hear me. Lord, if they got to move a foot, take a foot, as long as they can live in the kingdom, I'm happy. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming from? In other words, we're taking the blame or the accreditation off of the enemy, and now we're making everybody accountable for where they are. But the reality of it is, where we are now, we might not like it. We might not like where we are. But the, the, where we are now <coughs> is a result of us. Yeah, that's right. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Yeah, that's right. Our choices. Our decisions. Right. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Our decisions. Come on, here. You broke because you ain't deal with God's money right. right. Are y'all understanding yeah. where I'm coming from? You ain't got no increase yeah. because you didn't handle what God had for you. No 
more. Baby, you are now in comfort zone. I'm not excited about the things of God the way I used to be excited about the things of God. You're in comfort zone. But God has said enough that the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people. Uh-huh. Not only was Pharaoh's heart hardened, but his servants were hardened as well. God will turn a nation against you to get you out there. Did you hear what I just said? He will turn the heart of a nation to evict you out of there, to get you to a point to where you will leave. And see what God is doing now. We love him because he's the God that opens doors. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And no man can shut. Oh, but he's the God that shuts doors that no man can open. Y'all don't hear me? Say, Father. 
relationships to where I know I can text you. I ain't got to see because some people get offended when you text. Yes. Yeah, you get offended. You could call me. Some people get offended when you text them. Hear me? But I have covenant people in my life that I can text and say, I need you praying. Such and such is going on. And I know they're going to pray for me like we talk every day. Are you hearing where I'm coming from? Amen. Amen. We passed all of this when you didn't call me and you didn't come over my house and you didn't come there with me and you took your ball and I don't have time for that. That's right. I don't have time for that in this season. But they do it in the body of Christ. You invite everybody home to your program. You didn't invite me. When you my friend, you come in now. Some people I don't have to invite. Because if I'm having it, I don't need to see your invitation. I do already know you invite me. You know, not, not, you know I, I don't see people. I ain't coming as I give the invitation. Stay home. Stay home. <laughs> I'm going in the land of milking and honey, and I ain't taking no prisoners and no cows with me. Hallelujah. You ain't getting no invitation. I'm just going to see if you're going to come. Anyhow, um, we, find, we find the people who are in the midst of transition, and God is saying the old is over. It's time to get you up out of your comfort zone and take you into the new place. Amen. Hallelujah. And now, hallelujah. Let me find it. Hallelujah. And when Pharaoh drew now, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, yes. and they yes. said unto Moses, yes. Because there were no graves in Egypt, has thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Here you are on the brink of phenomenal breakthrough. And because you're uncomfortable, because you have to face some enemies and deal with some situations and circumstances, you would much rather go back to the bondage that you were in than face the enemy to your success and your great breakthrough. Now don't hear me. Oh, 
But them people on my job. Well, I know what you said, but you know life is hard. Situations and circumstances come. All God is saying, here, there, here, there. Hallelujah. His heartbeat is, I don't care how, what it takes. I'm going to get you from here to there. Here we find Moses with this phenomenal task of taking other people out of bondage, who have literally been brought out of bondage. They out of Egypt. They have fled Egypt. But their minds are still enslaved to Egypt. Their minds are still enslaved to the Pharaoh mentality. The mentality that Pharaoh has that upper hand on us. They're still moved by what they see and not what the Word of God says. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. God said, go, I got you. I prepared a place. That's all that matter. Here come a few enemies, a level of opposition. Come on, yeah. And now we want to pull back and say, well, maybe God didn't say it. I'm in, the, I'm in this place now. Either God said it or he did not say it. But I believe that every word that my God says concerning my life is true. Yes. 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 He can't lie. Look at somebody tell me he can't lie. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. You ain't serving a light. No, no, no. That's right. You're not, you're not serving a, a will of God. You're not serving a gentle that peace of God.
out the way they carry themselves. Are you hearing me? What happens when all of us realize when we begin to walk in the level of authority that God has called us to walk in? People on your job now see you differently. Not because you made them respect you, but because you realized who you were. Desperate people give off a sin. Jesus. That's the truth. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
for this right here. Isaiah 41, verse 11. Behold, all they that were in fifth against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Come on. Say, say let his word be established in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Hallelujah. He said, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Y'all ready for this? Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. That contended with thee, and that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand, say unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Lord God, you have been catapulted into a place in God. Come on here, to where you can't find your enemies. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have been confounded. Oh, God. They have been dwindled to nothing. They've been stripped of their power, their glory, and their authority concerning your life. Maybe somebody tell them the struggle is over. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. that he is God. He speaks to you 
you in that still and quiet place. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, Lord, I be distracted. Oh, Lord, I be no cheat. Oh, Lord, just be still. Rest. Know that every enemy is already confounded. So everything that you need is already there. Waiting on you in the new place. I talk about it all the time. You be in the new place operating in the old anointing. This is why people don't want to graduate. Because the new anointing takes time. Yes. Come on here. You, you got to say, God, if you don't do this, it won't be done. You don't hear that. In the old place, you can do a jazz club. Do you hear me? In a new place, you gotta rely on God like never. Yes, Jesus. And you know when you say that, the same thing like, oh God, who better to rely on? We have to in God, the God of His Word, the one that said heaven and earth will pass away before any one of His Word will return unto Him void. The one who made the statement, "I am the God of all." Then ask the rhetorical question, is there anything too hard for me? Are you understanding where I'm coming from? This God has said to you today, walk in your authority, that the enemies you see today, you are not going to see them no more. Somebody just need to tell them that. <laughs> no, some people are happy when they go. You know, you have to eat. Like, I hope I ain't grinning too hard. I hope I ain't grinning too hard. I hope I ain't grinning too hard. Thank you, Jesus. 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 He said it out loud, but it go hard. You don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Yes. Once we, we've been catapulted into a new place in the brain. Yes. To where we don't have to work at this. The word of God says, God is working in me to will and to do his good yes, God. Now I'm working yes, on God. Do you understand? Yes. God is doing the work on the inside of me. I'm just positioning myself yes, that he can do the work. I can't fix me. Yes. Oh, yes, God. Thank you, God. I can't change me. Oh, but there is a God that's greater than I am. That's just been waiting on me to say, I'm tired. Take the wheel. Just take it over. Just do everything. Do whatever you have to do. Y'all don't hear me. And when we begin to pray like that, things begin to shift. You don't hear me. Don't get nervous when they shift. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I don't care. Put him in jail. I don't care what you do. I just came out, Mama. Y'all don't hear me. And I'm praying, and my eyes get bigger and bigger. And we're like, Oh, what the word did I just say? Oh, God. But I trust the Spirit of the Lord. That's when you know the Spirit of the Lord is praying His will through you. When out of your mouth comes things you wouldn't dare say. God knew I could never really say that within myself. Y'all don't hear me, but I can't encourage the people. You say it within yourself, baby, because there's a greater that's on 